Hi everyone, welcome back to an episode of Lena Inside Her Car. <laughs> I recently had a donut craving and decided that I'm going to go to this new donut shop called Mochi Donut. I have yet to try them, but I'm going to have you guys come along with me. I know that they have a few locations across SoCal and I thought I check out the one in Koreatown. The one thing that's different about mochi nut is that I believe it's a donut, but it has like a texture of a mochi, which is gonna be a little bit soft and chewy and rice cake-like, um, since that's what mochi is. And I really love that texture. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what it tastes like or how it feels in my mouth. What's cool about mochi nuts is that usually regular donuts are in a like a circular shape, but mochi nuts have like this beaded look to them. I kind of want to say it reminds me of a certain item, but I'm not going to say what it is. I don't necessarily know what flavors they have. I know that they change them every once in a while to just kind of like give it a new like look or a feel or like give it some spice. I plan on getting half a dozen of the mochi nuts and also a hot dog for Oliver since this place also sells hot dogs. Like the Korean style ones where like they add potatoes on top or you can also get like a mozzarella filled hot dog or I think some other places have like squid ink as their like breaded dough but I'm not quite sure what this place does for their hot dogs so yeah let's check it out like the size of my head this is like for comparison <laughs> it has potatoes all over it and I think it has a sugar coating on it also um, but I'm gonna take the first bite not bad not bad at all I gotta leave the rest for Oliver though so I'm gonna put it back into the bag Hmm. All right, so I'm going to try the matcha one first. It smells okay. It smells like a regular donut. And I'm like, it's kind of squishy, but not really. Mm. It really does have a chewy texture. Alright guys, I have some good news. Today I'm going to be learning how to ride a motorcycle. I have been wanting to do this since I've been 25. I had like this list of things that I wanted to do, which was like skydiving, bungee jumping, 
riding a motorcycle and just all of these bucket list items. And since my birthday is this week on Friday, I decided I'm going to treat myself to this experience. I remember last year I rode a little mini airplane. That was really, really fun. I decided this year I wanted to do something that is a little bit COVID friendly. I am meeting up with an instructor one-on-one -on -one and we are going to ride, I think, in a parking lot in Hawthorne. I believe he's here, so I gotta keep this short and I'll see you guys later. Bye! so fun. Granted, it's just a beginner's course, but I was able to learn how to accelerate, stop, and just use the controls on a motorcycle, like the clutch and the brakes and whatnot. So it can be a little intimidating when riding something big and it doesn't necessarily cover you like a car does, but it was actually not that bad. I'm so glad I did this for myself. It didn't even seem that difficult to do, and I, I don't know why I just put it off to the side for so many years. Um, but yeah, so fun. <laughs>